Hi everyone, happy Monday. Welcome back to BMW Gallery in Norwood. I know it's been a few weeks since we've done a live video, um, but with, with the summer starting, things have been super crazy here, and there's been holidays, and lots of fun going on. We're very busy, and we're very excited about it. Uh, but as a reminder, we are live every Monday, 12.30, BMW Gallery in Norwood, and we try to show you the coolest cars we have on our lot, we do model comparisons, how to's, and we all we do it all with this Me. man. Look at that! Our president, product genius turn, client advisor, performance specialist. performance specialist. A whole bunch of stuff, really. Today, so like Tiffany said, it's been a few weeks since we've done anything, uh, and over that few weeks, we've been blessed and graced by BMW <laughs> yet again. So we had already had a special edition i8 before. You may have seen it if you've come to the dealership. We had that Protonic Red Edition that was one of a hundred. That was pretty special. Now today, we have the Frozen Black Metallic i8. Again, special edition, limited run. Uh, matte black exterior, semi-gloss, and then the interior. You have black leather for the first time on an i8 in yellow contrast stitching, which is pretty awesome looking. Now, I you know have you these I special know. door sills that say frozen black on it. Um, you know, you have the ceramic controls for the shifter and the uh, iDrive controller. The iDrive has i8 etched into it, so it looks really awesome. Previous i8 we had was one in a hundred. Would you say this is as far as like a brand car? This one I actually are out there right now. Okay. Um, but BMW did release them all at about the same time. Uh, so a couple of other dealerships out there do have them. Uh, it looks like they're just somewhere in that similar range as far as quantity-wise. Uh, BMW is also going to be coming out with another special version in yellow. Oh. Uh, it's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, but as far Can you talk about like why the i8 in general is special? I mean, obviously it looks cool. Let's, well, in let's general, get that the i8 way. is special just because it's the hybrid electric, uh, what some people consider supercar. Uh, and it's just a crazy looking car. Why I do you mean, say supercar? Uh, because usually people classify a supercar as something completely obscene with horsepower and, you know, like Ferrari, McLaren, things like that. In, in looks department, this is absolutely a supercar, maybe even a hypercar, but as far as performance wise, don't get me wrong, this car handles unbelievable. Okay. But as far as performance wise, I mean zero to 60 time is about four seconds. That's the same time as most of our M cars. So it's very on par with what we have in the market as far as M cars. But it's but a hybrid electric. It is a hybrid electric. So you get daily use out of it. And it's pretty cool because you can just say you have a hybrid supercar basically. Um, it's funny too, because it actually has a three cylinder. Yes, three cylinder, 1.6 turbo out of a Mini Cooper as what? the engine um, and in the Mini Cooper it only makes about 130 horsepower and here it makes about 230 so Crazy. 230 horsepower gasoline three-cylinder which you can't see ever <laughs> um, unless you're a BMW technician and then it has three electric motors and a back seat Don't forget it, that. That's yes huge. it does have a back seat <laughs> If you've been following us for a very long time, maybe at one of our electric events, you did see that we actually had four people in an i8. What? Yep, Grown it, people? Um, one of them was a child. <laughs> no, that's very cool. Can you talk a little bit about charge? So, obviously, we did a full walkthrough of the i3. If anyone has continued to watch our videos um, over the last few weeks or months, you, you may have seen the video. If not, we keep them all on our page. And we did an i3. And that's fully electric we talked about like a range yes. extender and stuff uh -huh. like that this obviously has a very different look but can you talk a little bit about like the mechanics of it so full time to charging comparison to an it i3 it would basically range? just be like an i3 except a little bit faster to charge because it's not as big of a battery pack uh you only get about 21 miles pure electric range in an i8 so it only takes about an hour and a half to charge or so like okay. that on a level two charger um you know can take upwards of six eight and so on um, when it's plugged into just a regular wall out that, that like uh, you would have at home, which is the charger that comes with the car. Mm -hmm. uh, but I mean, as standard, you have 
you know, you have the gas right here in the back right of the car, and then up in the front on the left, you have the plug-in, which is pretty standard for BMW on almost all the cars. We have it in the front left. Perfect. Now, can you talk a little bit about um, the gas mileage? So the gas mileage, so BMW actually rates the i8 at 76 MPGE. So right here on the window sticker, I'm not lying, it really says 76 MPGE. Look at that, guys. Right there, the proof. That's miles per gallon equivalent. So that's with the electric and the gas combined, 76. Now, the gas motor itself, if you were running it in, you know, sport all the time with the motor on, you're basically going to be expected to be getting something like 30, 33 miles to the gallon. And something that looks like this, that's absurd. What else, Brandon? What else? Um, now, what else is you have the special aerodynamic design of the i8. We haven't gone over the i8 before, no. so for those of you who haven't seen, and some people, I mean, this car has actually been out since 2014, 2015. Some people, you don't really see it on the road very often, so a lot of people will just go, I have no idea what that is. You've never seen it before. If you check out like the brake lights right here, the way these are designed like this on purpose because this whole tarp section right here is just in for airflow. So it comes all the way right through there, under the car as well, the way they design it, slides right in. Now, let's talk about the doors too. So these doors, boy do they look cool, right? So these doors look really awesome, but there's actually a reason why BMW did this. The Germans aren't really known for showing off per se, but the reason why these doors open like this is if they open like a conventional door, you would never be able to park next to anything. Okay. Because if you actually look at the length of the door, look how long the door is from here to there. Yeah, it is really long. It is crazy long. So long, in fact, that it's actually almost twice as long as the rear door on a 7 Series. Really? It is extremely long, and that's why they open like that. Not just because it's cool. But functional. Even though it is really cool. It is really cool. Do it again. One more, one more time. Look at that, guys. Very cool. It's a statement piece, for it sure. It is a statement. For sure. And it's really cool, too, because when you open the door, you can see all the bare carbon fiber on the inside. So that's what BMW calls carbon fiber reinforced plastic. And that's actually all manufactured in the state of Washington, U.S. And um, the whole car carbon the fiber? The entire car, uh, except for the battery and a couple of like little odds and ends here and there, mm -hmm. is basically carbon fiber. The entire body shell is carbon fiber reinforced plastic as well. Which means it's lighter, more it's going back to that light. aerodynamic, yep. go faster, back quicker. Absolutely. That's why it only needs 230 horsepower, three cylinder. It doesn't need any crazy big motor. BMW, I'm sure, could have stuffed, you know, their uh, inline six in here and tuned it to be, you know, 500 horsepower or something absolutely obscene, which we all wish they would do. But, uh, you know, the hybrid concept is really an awesome idea, too, because BMW basically took their concept i8, their vision electric, basically, and made it almost identical to what the concept car looked like. Which, what I think is cool so is I, I mean, for those of you who have never seen one, is that when you look at it, you don't necessarily think hybrid electric. You just think power. You think... Oh, absolutely. Sport, you Most think... Most people have no idea that this would be a plug-in hybrid. Right. Exactly. Exactly. Can you just look in the trunk first? Yeah, and so actually, there is actually a trunk. There's a trunk, guys. Look at that. So it's not huge, but it's big enough. Right now we have a couple of things in here. This is the front plate bracket. I hope nobody ever puts that on their car. <laughs> we have the carpet mats that actually have yellow stitching to match. And then uh, your charger. Thank you guys. So you do get some good room back here as well. Plus, most of you are never going to have anybody in the back seat of this car. True. So you'll probably just use it as storage. I know I would. But I don't think that's necessarily the first thing you think of, like storage, when you think of, oh, I want to go out and drive my i8 today. <laughs> Probably not. Yeah. But, so this is one of the ex exciting cars that we have right now. We have a couple of M cars as well. If you want to come check this car out, you know where to come find us, BMW Gallery in Norwood. This car is not available to test drive unless you are really interested in purchasing it because, like I said, it is a limited edition run, so we're not letting anyone drive it. Now, that's not saying you can't come check it out, sit in it, and look at it, take How pictures. How many miles does it have on it right now? Uh, I think it has like three miles. Three on guys, it. just three. So, 
And you better act fast too because I had already one person with a Ferrari come check this car out. Pretty cool. So, also in the future, BMW is gonna, like I said, have that yellow one. And then after that, they're gonna be making a convertible. Do you think we'll get a yellow one? I don't know if we'll get a yellow one. I hope we do. We do. We'll have to show you. Absolutely. dealership and ask for me you. Brandon and Brandon's our he, he knows everything back to front about all the cars we have on our lot that's why we do these videos with him he's, our, he's an expert on all things BMW and we love him for it um, I think that unless you have anything else you want to share about the car I think we're good today I think we're good so today. everybody on Facebook have a good day it is absolutely beautiful outside so Bye, guys. Bye, guys. Remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. Click the little follow button in the right-hand corner of the screen to subscribe to our videos so that Facebook will let you know when we do go live. And we will be posting this video, as we do all the others, onto our Facebook page. Have a great Tuesday and Monday, guys. Happy Monday. Bye.